your side with a warning for Metro riders now. Uh, phone thefts caught on camera. You're looking here at footage that as these thieves here swipe a phone and then run out of the station. Metro Transit Police say that they have seen at least six robberies just like this one. They're happening along the blue, orange, and silver lines. The thefts happen as the train is in the station there with the doors open. So police say that you should not use your phone near the train doors or on the escalators there in the station. And be smart and keep an eye out while you're on the platform. A medical marijuana growing facility on Maryland's eastern shore is closer to becoming a reality. Easton's town planner approved plans to build a marijuana growing facility at the former Black & Decker plant in Easton. The company has to still get a state license to do that. That facility would create about 100 new jobs, we're told. Uh, here's something you don't see every day. An alligator confiscated from property in Maryland. That's Edgewood, Maryland, if you're wondering. The homeowner there is charged with having a dangerous animal. That carries a possible $1,000 fine. <laughs> Whew, okay. At least it wasn't in the lake. It was in the house. <laughs> Maybe Ooh. you should just leave the guy in the house locked in with the alligator. Yeah, wow. That'll teach him. Hey, we have some wet weather on the way for the day tomorrow, but it looks okay. like it's going to hold off until late tomorrow afternoon and then by Father's Day afternoon. Okay, that's the big day. You'll be able to mow the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks just a lot. Joking, just joking. Hey, 89 degrees right now at Reagan. At, well, not right now. At our high temperature earlier today was 89 degrees. Still well above average for this time of year. 99 the record back in 1931. We're now at 78. We had a few showers that rolled through during the early evening hours. Winds are now out of the west at 8 miles per hour. Those dew point levels still in that uncomfortable range. Upper 60s to lower 70s will stay that way overnight. So don't open the windows. Keep the air on if you have it. You'll definitely feel a lot better. 70 at Dulles. It's 78 degrees at Andrews. The same in Lexington Park, Maryland. Head further to the west. 69 Petersburg, Elkins, West Virginia. Now at 65 degrees. Show you satellite and radar. We had those showers of storms that moved on through earlier today. Now everything's starting to fizzle out. Things are going to quiet down for the overnight hours. We stay dry. Dry tomorrow morning. So if you have plans in the morning to head outdoors, no problems at all. Go exercise. You'll be fine. However, later in the day, in the afternoon hours, into the evening hours. Heavier rain will be on the way. Nighttime lows range from 68 to 74 degrees. Mostly cloudy skies. Winds out of the northeast at just around 5 miles per hour. This is what's headed our way. Area of low pressure, which was once Tropical Storm Bill. This moves our way for the day tomorrow. Arrives here tomorrow night, bringing areas of heavier rain. We could see upwards of 1 to 2 inches by the time this thing moves on out of here early, early Sunday morning. 7 o'clock in the morning, no problems at all, but look what happens. Clouds will increase. There are the showers that will start to dot the radar. We'll see heavier rain, especially north of D.C., come tomorrow night into early Sunday morning. And look what happens. It's out of here. 11 o'clock in the morning on Sunday. Our skies will clear, and that means it's going to dry out very, very nicely. Before then, though, tomorrow night to early Sunday morning, flash flood watch in effect for the district surrounding counties. Everything shaded in green. This is for localized flooding, so keep an eye to the sky. Daytime highs tomorrow, middle to upper 80s. Our extended outlook will show a daytime high near 90 degrees on Sunday. We'll get the showers and the storms out of the way early on, so picnics and barbecues for dad will go on as scheduled. 90 degrees on Monday, 93 on Tuesday, upper 80s Wednesday and Thursday. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of those kind of numbers, uh, did the Nats put up some good numbers tonight? My goodness. Do we have reason to cheer <laughs> yeah. tonight, huh? The, the Nats, I, I'm, I'm convinced, they have more ups and downs than a ride at Six Flags. <laughs> oh, here we go. They're all oh, up and down. Go. The Nats are on a high again, and they didn't even need their spark plug Bryce Harper.